This presentation will provide an overview of the workflow and configurations required to establish an Amazon Athena DBeaver connection. The CSV data that will be used for this demonstration has been uploaded to an S3 bucket resource. So in my S3 bucket, I have passing data, receiving data, and rushing data. Three AWS glue crawlers have been have been provisioned and the S and the CSV data hosted in S3 have been crawled by the AWS glue crawlers. Below in AWS glue are three crawlers that have been created. Three AWS glue tables have been generated based upon the CSV data hosted in S3 being crawled by the AWS glue crawlers. So in my AWS Glue database, NFL stats, I have three tables, one for passing, receiving, and rushing data. I have installed DBeaver Community Edition 24.04 on AWS Workspace Windows Server. From the Amazon Athena console, I will preview the AWS glue tables. So from the AWS console in the Amazon Athena service, I have my AWS glue database and fill stats selected. And associated to that database are the three AWS glue tables, passing, receiving, and rushing. I will proceed to preview the data associated to these tables that's currently stored in S3. So if I click preview table, you can see the CSV data being displayed in the Athena service. I'll preview the receiving table. And I'll preview the rushing table. Download the DBeaver Amazon Athena driver from the link below. Next, I'll start the DBeaver application and navigate to the DBeaver driver manager to configure the DBeaver Amazon Athena driver. So currently I'm logged into my AWS Amazon workspace um, as you can see, I have DBeaver started. So I will navigate to the database menu option, select driver manager. Under the list of options, I will select AWS and then I will select Athena and then I'll click the edit button. Next, I'll select the Libraries tab, and I will add a file. And what you want to do is navigate to the location where you downloaded the Athena driver. Select the Athena driver, select Open, and then click OK to save that driver configuration. Close and that configuration 
for the driver will be saved in dBeaver. Next, navigate to the new database connection button to configure dBeaver, Amazon Athena connection. So back in AWS Workspace, in the dBeaver application, in the upper left hand corner, you want to click the new database connection. You want to select Athena, click next. And in this dialog box, you want to provide the region that you're connecting to where your data is hosted, the S3 location where your query results will be hosted, and then in the authentication section for username, you need to supply an access key. For password, you need to supply a secret key. So for the authentication section, you need to have a IAM user or role that has associated um, access keys. Those access keys must have the permissions to write, read and write to this S3 location, as well as full access to the Athena service. Here's my current configuration to connect to Athena. So as you can see, I have my region set, my S3 location where my query data would be stored. I have a um, AWS access key listed under user, and then I have my secret key added to the password section. If I click test connection, I successfully connect it to the Athena service. I'll click OK and OK again. That configuration is saved to dBeaver. Next, execute test queries in dBeaver to verify matching results. So I have two queries that I have generated and I'm going to execute it, execute those queries in, a, in the Athena service and then in dBeaver to make sure that I have the same matching results and data. So first I'm going to go to Athena. I'm going to create a new query tab. And the first query I am going to execute, I am going to generate the record count for the passing table. comes back with 91 records for the passing table. I'm going to open another tab and I will generate a list of the top 10 passing yards for 2023. And you can see I have a list of the top passing yards for 2023 in descending order. I will now proceed back to dBeaver and I will execute the same command. So first I'm going to connect to the Athena service. As you can see, once I connect to the Athena service, I have access to the AWS Glue databases. So you have a default and then NFL stats. If I go back to the Athena service, I can see under databases, I have a default in NFL stats. If I go back to Athena, to dBeaver, and I click on select the NFL stats database tables. As you can see, I have access to the AWS blue tables, passing, receiving, and rushing which are also present in the Athena service. Now I will proceed to execute the same queries to see if I get the same results. So first I'm going to get the record count for the passing table.
which comes back with 91, which matches the count in the Athena service. Now I'm going to execute a list of the top 10 passing yards. Which comes back with the same list. Tua being listed number one and Trevor Lawrence being listed 10. The yards being in descending order matches the same results in the Athena service. That concludes my demonstration. I have provided some references. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you.